All right, so Joe Pfeiffer and his fourth UFC fight will be headlining a fight night against Jack Hermanson. And although this is a weak main event, I actually really like this matchup. Jack has looked really good in his last couple fights, especially on the feet, coming off a win against Chris Curtis and a loss against Roman Dolce where he was winning, but for some reason he decided to shoot a takedown and grapple with Roman and got submitted. But his stand-up has improved immensely, but will it be good enough to stifle the well-rounded Joe Pfeiffer? I don't think it will. He has very solid striking and he somehow broke Ngannou's record for the most powerful strike at the UFC PI, which is kind of scary because he's only a middleweight. Now that number could be inflated since Dana White hates Ngannou, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But uh, Joe also has elite wrestling. Now Jack has really good footwork that could give Joe problems, but this fight will be in the apex in the smaller cage. And I think that's a huge advantage to Joe who likes to walk his opponents down to either land bombs or secure takedowns. If this wasn't a normal octagon, I think it's a lot closer of a fight, but the apex kind of makes it way better for Joe. So I think after two close opening rounds, I think Joe's going to try to pace himself since this is his um, first five round fight. But I think in the third, he'll step on the gas and he'll start to walk down Jack. I think he'll hurt him with a big right hand and then come with a huge left uppercut to the body to drop Jack. And after some ground and pound, I think Joe's going to secure a TKO in the third round and get himself into the top 10 of the middleweight division. But hey, I'm just a kid and this is my opinion.